Schumer demands Congress wait until after midterm elections to confirm Kennedy replacement. By Christina Layla for the GatewayPundit.com. Crying Senator Chuck Schumer. On Wednesday, Supreme Court Justice Anthony Kennedy announced he will be retiring from the bench at the end of July. Kennedy 81 has been a noted swing vote on the court, which uh, with his decision often uh, determines the deciding vote on a court split four to four uh, between liberals and conservatives, even though he was considered a conservative having been appointed by President Reagan in 1987. President Trump is reportedly choosing uh, Justice Kennedy's replacement from a list of 25 judges. The same list he chose Justice Neil Gorsuch from last year. ABC News reported President Trump's teams intend to push to get a nominee to replace Anthony Kennedy confirmed before the midterm elections. Senate Minority Leader Chuck Schumer immediately pushed back on Trump's plan to get his nominee to replace Justice Kennedy confirmed before the midterm elections. <laughs> Why are we not surprised? Schumer demanded Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell abide by the Biden rule when deciding to confirm a Supreme Court justice. The Biden rule essentially calls for the confirmations to be halted during an election year. McConnell cited the Biden, uh, cited the Biden rule when deciding not to consider Obama's nominee, Merrick Garland, before the 2016 election. Thankfully, McConnell opened the door for Justice Neil Gorsuch to be nominated by President Trump. Can you imagine the mess had Gorsuch not been nominated? Uh, that, uh, the, that's why they got rid of Scalise, you see. The Republicans should not acquiesce to the Democrats' demands. Absolutely not. Confirm President Trump's ne next uh, justice nominee as soon as possible. Schumer laughably said, if the Senate confirms a justice during the election year, it would be the height of hypocrisy. No, Schumer, you are the height of hypocrisy. Presidential election years are different from midterm elections. Obama's second SCOTUS nominee, Elena Kagan, was confirmed in August of 2010, an election year. But then everybody got hip to Obama trying to destroy this country and make it a liberal country. And now listen to Schumer. Our Republican colleagues in the Senate should follow the rule they said in 2016 not to consider a Supreme Court justice in an election year. Too bad, Schumer, it's going to happen whether you like it or not. People are sick of you guys. Will Republicans and President Trump nominate and vote for someone who will preserve protections for people with pre-existing conditions? Or will they support a justice who will put health insurance companies over patients or put the federal government between a woman and her doctor. The Senate should reject Look how sad he sounds. on a bipartisan basis any justice who would overturn Roe v. Wade or undermine key health care protections. The Senate should reject anyone who will instinctively side with powerful special interests over the interests of average Americans. Our Republican colleagues in the Senate should follow the rule they set in 2016 not to consider a Supreme Court justice in an election year. Senator McConnell would tell anyone who listened that the Senate had the right to advise and consent, and that was every bit as important as the President's right to nominate. Millions of people are just months away from determining the senators who should vote to confirm or reject the president's nominee, and their voices deserve to be heard now, as Leader McConnell thought they should deserve to be heard then. Anything but that would be the absolute height of hypocrisy. People from all across America should realize 
that their rights and opportunities are threatened. Americans should make their voices heard loudly, clearly, and consistently. Americans should make it clear that they will not tolerate a nominee chosen from President Trump's preordained list, selected by powerful special interests, who will reverse the progress we have made. What progress have you made? The, the hypocrisy, the only hypocrisy I see that is of the Democrats. People are sick of you and Trump is going to get his nominee in and whether you like it or not. I mean, really? Give it a break, Schumer. You're losing all around. You're losing all around. And he's making a sob story uh, uh, like, he, like he really cares, yeah, for this country or the people. You don't care for anything. You're a Soros-paid shill and we're on to you. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And again, thank you so much for watching.